Hi moms, and we are back to continue on our wonderful journey what we started last time about breastfeeding. I'm Dr. Nihar Parekh and today with me is a special guest, Dr. Preeti. She's a lactation specialist and she's going to take this journey forward along with us. For me, it is very important for you to understand the fact that what is it that should raise a red flag in your hand so as to go to your doctor immediately, talk to him or her about this issue of breastfeeding so we can snip it in the bud and we can all and you can continue on this lovely journey of breastfeeding. I'm going to have Dr. Preeti explain us certain red flags that we should look out for and what are the common problems that you may experience during breastfeeding. So it's very important for a mother to understand the process of pathological engorgement. because it's quite possible that she might mistaken a physiological engorgement to be prolonged and she forgets that it can at times become pathological. What do we mean by this is that the mother experiences both her breast becoming heavy, very full. She is trying to latch the baby onto the breast and trying to nurse the baby, but this cannot happen because it's not only the breast, but even the nipple and the areola are swollen. It's very difficult for a baby to nurse at this particular time. So what does a mother feel? She feels that a breast is filled with milk and she needs to express out the milk. She normally tries to do this by either manually doing it or using a breast pump. But a piece of advice required here. Remember, the breast is not filled only with milk. There is a lot of blood vessels there. There is a lot of muscle tissue there. There is a lot of lymphatic vessels there all of which have become suddenly swollen up, the organ is inflamed. Okay, the breast has become an active organ. So now, imagine if you have bumped your head onto the wall. What is the first thing you would like to do? Is, would you put a hot pack onto your head or would you like to put some cold pack? The normal response is putting a cold pack onto the breast. We would not like a swelling to come up. Similarly, when your breast has swollen up and you are experiencing engorgement, do not rush with hot packs onto your breast. This is a very common mistake done by all the mothers. Because if you use hot packs on your breast, you are technically trying to improve the blood supply to your breast. A breast which is already swollen gets swollen up further. It's not possible for you then to express out the milk very easily. But the first and the foremost thing which all the mothers need to do is Put some cold packs onto the breast. Cold packs onto the breast all over the breast region for at least four to five minutes done peacefully. This has to be followed by massaging the breast, okay, with three fingers in a circular motion all over the breast. This massage has to be a very slow and gradual process, not in a hurry, again going on for around four to five minutes. Thereafter, the mother can put some hot packs onto the breast for a couple of minutes only and then she tries to express out her milk. She can either do it manually or she can use breast pumps. Again, when a mother is trying to express milk using a breast pump, you should not express so much that it actually causes too much of pain and further increases the swelling in your breast. You need to pump just for around 5 to 10 minutes and give yourself some time. Wait for another half an hour to one hour and repeat the entire process all over again and wait for such three or four sessions to happen and only then the engorgement is gradually going to come down. So what a new mother needs to understand is engorgement doesn't go away in a single session of pumping or expressing. It is a process which may take around three to four hours to settle down. But if you understand how to go about doing it, it's very easy to tackle it. Wow, this is amazing amount of information given to us by Dr. Preeti. The word engorgement, the process of engorgement, what to look out for, but there are very simple few things you need to remember. As explained by Dr. Preeti, you have to understand what engorgement is. If anything that you feel is going down this road, you need to establish very clear lines of communication with your doctor. Because for you to understand so much, to do so much in this state of mind, with your baby in your hand, with the pain, with the agony, and the amount of eagerness to breastfeed, I think you need a helping hand at the right time. But your job is to make sure that you recognize the problem, you find a doctor, 
and establish clear lines of communication. So as good as Dr. Preeti is here, that doctor can help you out to get this problem out of the system in a stepwise day-to-day process. Tune into our channel, Child and You, for such queries and information regarding bringing up your child. Live now, live healthy, only with Shushruta. For any queries, you can write into us on or WhatsApp us on 7262-2222.